Individual tables with correlated data can be merged together. It helps us to modify databases faster and more efficiently. How about we combine two tables and create a relational database? Hello there, this is Faria Tumim from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forums, templates, and VBA related answers. Now we will learn how to create a relational database in Excel. Here is a data set with six salesmen with their selling products and their net sales separately. Now we will create a relational database with the products and sales values. We will share step-by-step -step processes with the help of Excel 365. You can use any other available versions as well. Now let's get down to the video. In this table, we have the names of salesmen and products listed in the primary sheet. Select range B4 to C10 and from the name box beside formula bar, give it a name of primary. Now use Ctrl T keys together to create a shortcut for create table. Here we can see our range. Make sure we check this box so that our table gets added with headers according to our first row. Okay. Remember that you can change the name or range from formulas tab. Under the defined name group, click on name manager. There is the cell range that we named primary and the table one which we created just now. Here we have data for salesman and net sales. Let's repeat the process. Click the cell range of B4 to C10 and rename them from name box with helper. Now click Ctrl T to create table. Here is our range and my table has headers. Okay, our helper table is ready. Our final step is to add a relational database. Go to primary sheet first. Now go to insert tab and from the tables group select pivot table and our table range is primary and the placement for pivot table can be chosen as new worksheet. We have chosen existing worksheet and its location will be in E4. Now since we want to create relational database, we want to analyze multiple tables. So let's check this box so that we can add this data to the data model. Okay. Now from the pivot table fields, let's select product. It will automatically get into the rows field. Now let's go to all tab from active tab. Here choose table 2. We can see its data source is our helper sheet and the range is B4 to C10. Here select net sales. It goes into values field directly. Now you can see a yellow box here. It's asking if we need a relational database. Here, let's click on create. In this new dialog box, we need to add information where we want to create the relationship. Now the table is table 2, which is our helper table. And related table is primary. And column, related column. Both are the column that we are going to create the relationship based on. So select salesman for both of them. Okay, now we can see a relational database. The pivot table we have created, we can sort and filter values based on criteria. Let's click on the drop down option beside row labels and you can see label filters, value filters here. Let's go with label filter and select contains. Here, let's select C and we can see AC and cable among all the products since these two are the ones that contains the letter C. Let's clear filter now. Then for value filters, let's go with greater than 10,000. Here you go. 
Here is a pivot table which is our relational database which relates our primary table from primary sheet and from helper sheet our helper table. Let's change net sales. Say let's make 20,000 to 10,000. And let's change product cable to charger. Now we can still see cable and 20,000 in our relational database. Let's right click on the column header and select refresh. Now we can see charger and 10,000 has been updated. Using these elaborate steps, you can easily create a database in Excel. You can practice this problem with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to solve the problem in the comment section with suggestions and feedback. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.